You said it best, Mose. I'm right downtown live at the Le Cristal Hotel opening. The red carpet's out, the champagne and the bubbly has been spread. It's just my time to enjoy it. Back to you. Thanks, Mose. When we think about fashion, we usually think about Paris, Milan, London, and now this beautiful city behind me, Montreal. I'm joined by Marie Leanne, who is a fashion coordinator, right? Exactly. So tell me a little bit about your events and what you do. Well, basically, what we do is we organize fashion shows. The tradition continues. An estimated 300,000 people showed up at this year's Montreal St. Patrick's Day Parade. Among the tradition, city workers were out early to paint the famous Green Line down St. Catherine Street. It's the 184th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Montreal, where hundreds of thousands of people line the streets of St. Catherine just to witness all the floats and dancers. One thing is for certain, today everyone is Irish. This year's parade had 120 groups, despite the overcast weather and the below average temperatures. NDP crowd pleaser Jack Layton didn't mind the weather either. I don't think anybody notices the cold, the snow or anything else. This high pressure system is keeping us clear, but it's going to eventually be moving into Atlantic Canada and following that is the low pressure system and that is a warm front. And as you can tell by the picture here, we're going to start to see a little bit of precipitation into the work week and that, like I said, could possibly bring us some, some snow as well. Now, tonight, minus 10, mostly clear, cold, light winds out there, so we don't have to worry about the wind chill, still fairly cold for this time of year. I don't have much time off work, so we're going to see I about see, that. I see. But, yeah. That sounds great. If you want to find out any news or any information, even some song downloads, you can log on to their website at www.myspace.com slash trigger response. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. No problem. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Nickelback frontman Chad Kroger was found guilty today in a Surrey, B.C. courtroom. What for? Drunk driving. Way back in 2006, police pulled his little Lamborghini over and discovered he was two times above the legal drinking limit. 